Hey, Jet Setters! I'm Kirsten, and welcome to Traveling Pretty Ain't Easy. Today, we're talking about the top five things that irritates us when traveling. Okay, I'm going to talk about my top five things, and at the end of this video, I would like for you guys to leave a comment below on your top five things that irritate you. Now, my top five things are, number one, people not having appropriate seats. If you are a person who requires getting up, you know, a lot, you should probably ask for an aisle seat. You shouldn't be the person in the window seat getting up every five minutes because now everybody has to keep getting up because now you got to get out yet again. The person that's in the aisle seat, if you like to look out and see the view, you're constantly leaning over like, oh my God, that's beautiful. I'd love to take a picture of that. Oh my gosh. You should be in the window seat why are you, you guys are just backwards why now the person that's in the middle seat i'm so sorry because it's actually the worst seat on the aircraft i really don't even know why planes have a middle seat why it's, it's the worst seat but in my last video I've discovered that the person in the middle seat actually has the right to have both of the armrests. So I've been in that position before and both of these are mine. They are mine. You cannot have them because both of you guys have better seats than me. Okay? Have appropriate seats. That's all I ask for. Number two. Now, children, they're so fun. They're a blessing. Everything. But nobody wants to be on the plane with your child kicking them in the back of the seat. That is ridiculous. Control that, please. Nobody wants to lean back and say, Ma'am, can you please tell your child to stop kicking me? You know, and I get it. You know, parents, they probably feel embarrassed. They're like, oh my gosh, you know, everybody hates me on the plane, you know. And, and it's not like that. It's just that it's just an irritation. And it has to be something done about it, period. Nobody wants to hear a baby screaming or crying or kicking or doing anything that's just not normal. Nobody wants to hear that for the whole duration of their flight. We got to come to a, a solution to this, something, I don't know. Maybe have a, a designated area just for parents and children. I don't know, this is just a suggestion, but it's irritating to me to hear a baby sitting next to me just crying. I, I, I don't know what to do, you don't know what to do. We, I don't know. Irritation number three. <laughs> okay, now there's a couple of different things you can do on the flight. You can play Candy Crush, you can watch a movie, you can catch up on some work, you can, you have time to kill. Now, if it's a night flight, I'm not sure exactly why you want to read a book. Like, why? Why do you want to turn that bright light on to read a book while I'm sitting over here just, just sleep, just, just want to go to sleep because, you know, it's night and... You over there with that bright light on. Please turn that light off. Please turn your eyes off and do something else. Watch a movie because the light is not that bright or go to sleep or do something. That is irritating. Number four. Now, it's common courtesy, you know, just to be like, hey, you know, I'm in that seat. You know, excuse me. You know, and you might do a little introduction. Um, not required, but, you know, it's just common courtesy. But when I get in my seat, I don't think I, it's not necessary, <laughs> it's not, it's not necessary for you to basically just say, hi, I'm Pam, you know, are you going to the same location I'm going to? Yep, I'm on the same flight as you. Okay, uh, well, this place is amazing. Last year, I took my husband, I took my nephew, I took my Mother-in-law took the whole entire family and we had a good time, you know. Oh my God, we stayed here, we went here, we went here, we went here. Ma'am, after I sit down, I don't want to hear all of that. I might want to revisit that conversation. But right now, I kind of just want to, you know, prep for the safety or just take off. That's it. I don't really want to sit here and talk to you about anything. I want to probably catch up on my work, you know. I don't, I don't want to hear it, especially when you, you're going in so aggressively. Like, back up. Wait a moment, ma'am gosh <laughs> okay now 
Irritates. Number five. Oh my gosh, this irritates me. Wake me up for the cart. Please wake me up for the cart. I don't like to see the cart when I, if I do fall asleep and I wake up and now it's in row 52. You know how long it's going to take them to backtrack to get to me because you didn't wake me up for the cart? Please. Uh, just something like, hey girl. Girl, the cart's here. Can somebody wake you up? Something like that. I, oh my God. I, I just appreciate that so much that you just found deep in your heart to wake me up for the cart. Thank you so much. Now I can get my beverage. I can get my peanuts, pretzels, cookies, whatever. I can get everything that's on the cart. Thank you so much. Now, if you agree with everything I've said, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any other irritations that you experience on your travel adventures, leave it in the comment sections. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, please subscribe and travel pretty.